Three planes a day fly in from the mainland. Visitors from all around the world arrive, eager to see for themselves the remarkably tame wildlife in this apparently pristine archipelago. But the endless stream of people has brought to an end the island's isolation. The isolation that was for so long the Galapagos wildlife's best protection from human disturbance. The tourists could be endangering the wildlife they've come to see. The endemic animals have evolved largely free from competition or disease. This leaves them especially vulnerable to any germs the visitors might be inadvertently carrying. Giant tortoises have been dying from a type of influenza, similar to that found in humans. Verna Cedeno is head of a new genetics lab, set up in Galapagos to help with conservation, identifying potential biological threats to the wildlife and seeking solutions. The tortoise has to be immobilized before its health check. This tortoise is one of a population living in the highlands of Santa Cruz, the island with the highest human population and greatest number of visiting tourists. So far, the tortoise numbers are not being seriously affected by the virus. This monitoring is to make sure the situation doesn't get any worse. But the threat from disease is a serious one. Es seguro que hay muchos riesgos en relación con agentes patógenos introducidos a un sitio en el cual no están naturalmente. Una enfermedad puede hacer que una especie, que un organismo, un grupo de, de individuos puedan no solamente ser afectados, desaparecer. Entonces, el, el tema de enfermedades es un tema muy importante para la conservación.